Is this thing recording? Is this thing on? Is this thing on? Hey guys, welcome back to the podcast. This is episode three. I am with an Australian cliff diver, Xanthia Panisi. How are you? I'm good. Thank you for having me on your podcast. No, no, that's okay. I um, Basically, the reason why I have you on, on the podcast is because I ran into your Instagram and I saw... And I knew you were Filipino from just looking at you. Yeah, you like, can tell. <laughs> How is there this Filipino girl jumping off cliffs and she looks like she's going all over the world doing some amazing stuff? I need to chat to her. I need to know <laughs> how you get into this like into this world. So basically, how did you get into... Is it called cliff diving? Cliff diving, yeah. yeah. Cliff diving. So how did you get into it? Like, Yeah, I mean... It's a pretty, like, strange sport. Like, not many people do it. So, yeah, like, this is, like, a very popular question. Um, Like, I did gymnastics when I was younger, so I've done that my whole life. And then um, my parents actually forced me into diving. Like, they were saying, oh, you're too old for gymnastics. You're not getting anywhere. Um, So then I was like, fine, I'll I'll do diving. And, like, I hated it. Like, I was doing it for a few years, and I was just doing it because I loved sport. How Um, old were you when your parents said, from I was gymnastics 14. To 14. Yeah. Now, this is weird coming from a Filipino mother. Yeah. For her to say, get into diving. Yeah. yeah. It was It was more my dad, yeah, I yeah. think. Um, they like they wanted me to be doing well, and yeah. I wasn't getting anywhere with gymnastics. And my mom, like, she just didn't really care about, like, whatever I was doing. She was like, yeah, just do that. So, yeah, I was just like, um, I don't really like diving, but I was doing it because I made friends and I liked sport. Um, but then I stuck with it just because I hated school. So this was like my outlet. Um, and then when I was graduating school, um, there were like, I I didn't know what I was going to do with my life. I, my dad said I had to go to uni and I was like, I guess I have to go to uni. I was like, well, I don't want to do this. And then someone came to train at my pool and they were cliff divers. And I was like, what the fuck is this sport? Like, (laughs) I was like, researched it that night and I was like, wait, they get to travel and like, dive and compete. How old were you when you found this out? Um, like 17. 17. Yeah. So when you were 14, mm. um, diving, what, what what's the highest you'd be diving at 14? Um, my highest was 10 meters, but I didn't do that much. I was mostly a three meter springboard diver. Did and you hate it because you were scared or did you hate it because you just didn't like... Yeah, I was scared of heights. Yeah, yeah. And this is like a weird thing. I'm still kind of scared really? of heights. Yeah. But yeah, when I was younger, I was... I was, I was excited to try new things but then I would also like get so caught up in my head um about learning new dives and yeah like I hated it (laughs) really yeah so so when you get to 16 17 Mm. you find out about cliff diving yeah and were you hating it still then no so that was actually like my drive to keep diving and um to like learn something new because I guess I didn't know why I was diving it was my parents like um making me do it so then you know, when someone forces you to do something, you just don't want to like do it. And then I actually had motive to go to training and work hard. Um, and yeah, I had something to work towards. Do you think, um, were you making a lot of friends doing it? Yeah. Like, I mean, well, because I was in school, I, I hated school. Um, I didn't have many friends at school and then at diving, like it was my people, like we played around and had fun. So it was like my outlet and yeah, I had heaps of friends at diving. Yeah. Cool. Cool. So yeah. do you think like, like, for example, I always think about, like, back in the day, I used to play basketball mm. a lot, right? And I loved basketball at the time, but I made a lot of friends. Yeah. Through it, and I felt like at 16, 17, even 18, I used to be like, I'm going to hang out with friends. Not really like I'm going to go play, yeah. play basketball. Like, yeah, I it's definitely like, about the um, community. Yeah, the social aspect. Yeah, and, and like, that's, like, one of the reasons why I love cliff diving now is there's such great people, cool. and I get to meet amazing people as well. But, like, some of my best friends now are the cliff divers. Really? Yeah, so, like, it's it's hard because they're all around the world. Like, they're not Australian. So I see them, like, only for the six months of the year, but then – you know, we're best friends. So how's it? So when you're 17 and you find out about cliff diving, do you go, okay, I want to do this? Or is this something where like you, is it easy to get into? Cause I feel like I don't know cliff diving and I don't know many people that do it. And yeah. I feel like it's one of those things where like, come, come do it. Not like, not like if you're a footy player, like you need to yeah, kind of work hard to get it. into the team. Not yeah. that you didn't work hard, but like, 
Yeah, it, it's like an undercover sport kind yeah. of. Um, yeah, because there's not many people, especially in Australia, doing high diving or cliff diving. So there's actually only two Australians. Um, so me and this other girl. Um, Where is she from? She's from Sydney. Sydney. Yeah, right, and cool. so she's the world champion. Um, she and is? Yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. So I met her and that's how I got into it. But um, one of my coaches, he used to do um, cliff diving when he was younger. And then I, yeah, he helped me find a job overseas to learn. So mm. they do um, diving shows around mostly Europe. So um, what was the first country that you went to? I went to France. For diving? Yeah. So cool. I did a few diving shows in Australia. I did some in Sydney and Melbourne. And then um, when I was 18, I flew to France and had no clue what I was doing. But I just met people there and they helped me learn how to high dive. So a diving coach? Well, was... they were divers themselves. They just like. And they also come Lent a hand, and yeah, cool. like were nice enough to help me were learn. Were they French or were they Aussies? Um, this guy was Bulgarian. Oh, okay. Yeah, so he was a really cool guy. Um, and so diving shows work like it's like an entertainment, like it's at a theme park. Um, mm. and then in my spare time when I wasn't working, I would just like train and learn how to high dive. Really? Yeah. So when you went to France, where did you do it? Like, what were you? Where were you diving into? Like, what? So, area. Yeah, yeah, they it's called Lyon. Mm. Um, there's it's like a city, but then we were an hour from the city in like a farm area, and there was like this um, amusement park. Yeah. Um, it was really small; no one went. Um, but people watched the show, um, and we were diving into. It was like a pool; it's four meters deep. Um, and some of the other shows I've done, it's like a, a tank that they build, um, and it's only two point five meters deep, so it's very short. So four meters is that. If you if you're told, all right, this pool here is four meters, are mm. you like, yes, this is good? No, that's too shallow for Still me. Yeah, me- and then Still. they were trying to get you to do two point five. Yeah, so in shows because usually they're portable. Um, the way you learn is when you enter the water, you almost like bomb, so you don't hit the water. Mm. And it's not a good technique to learn for competitions, but it's good for shows because you have to. Yeah. Um, so four meters even is too shallow because um, you always hit the bottom. So you just got to almost bomb. Really? Yeah, it's great. It's a so bit when, stupid. So when, when someone was explaining to you, hey, look, you're going to hit the bottom, mm. do they tell you like, yeah, many people have broken a leg? Or are they no, like, no, no, they, they won't or tell you that. Or that doesn't happen? Or does uh, that happen? My friend, um, she broke both her heels in a show. Oh, right. Yeah, it's yeah. I mean, it's a was crazy that, sport. Um, was that because it her fault, or is that more like like yes, um, because she's so used to diving in deeper water. Mm. Um, but that's what you sign up to when mm. you do diving shows. Um, so four meters is like a little bit more space, but it's easy to hit the bottom. So crazy. So how yeah. long were you over in France for when you first went there? Um, I did the show for three months. Really? So you lived yeah. there for three months? Yeah. And how often were you diving? Every like, day. Every day. Six days a week. And getting paid? Yep. Yeah. 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 It true. wasn't much. Um, and that's what they told me. Um, because in Europe, I mean, it's not as good paying as Australia, but like the main reason I was going was to learn how to high dive um, and cliff dive. How old were you? Not to get paid. Um, I was 18. 18. Oh, yeah. Who cares? Yeah, when I know. you're 18, who cares? Yeah, like, and it wasn't about the money for yeah, me. Like, yeah. yeah. So it was it was pretty cool still being able to get like that, like few dollars and then like doing something I'm, I love. Yeah. But yeah. when you're like, um, I'm sure you're going to have way more stories in the future, but like when you're like 60, 70 years old, like to tell people like, you dove or, you know, you were jumping up cliffs for money, I yeah. guess, if that's the, how you want to say it. But, like, no one gets to tell that type of story. I know, you know what I mean? it's crazy. Like, that's why Very I literally unique. got you <laughs> yeah. on, this, on this podcast. Because it's crazy. It's crazy yeah. like here, like, you know, a Filipino girl yeah. doing this type of things. Like, the stereotype for a Filipino is, like, be a nurse, right? Like, yeah, oh, literally. Yeah. I was gonna like that was one of my oh, really? options in uni <laughs> it was either teaching or nursing or i was also looking into photography as oh, well oh really yeah, yeah no, so like cool. something pretty simple or like artsy but i never thought i'd be doing cliff diving ever. so <laughs> so um when i look at like your your instagram mm. um now you said that your friend was the australian champion yeah so are you considered in the australian like world are you like a part like could you be the australian champion yeah so yeah. um this year i finished top four in the world oh congratulations. yeah thank That's you awesome. yeah so who so... was above you who, who were the um kind... so the australian girl she came first, first again yeah. and then there was a canadian girl and an american girl cool so are you like friends with them or is it more like yeah hey, like... i'm actually like the two like american and canadians are my best friends yeah cool. so it's really cool there's still like rivalry um I missed out by like on third place by six points. So it was like how very frustrating. How does the point system work? So how does it, because <clears throat> when I watch your like little videos that you have on, mm. on um, 
Instagram. Yeah. Like I, all I'm seeing from like a person who knows nothing, <laughs> all right, is um, all I'm seeing is you're on this edge of a cliff or like a board, yeah. I guess, and you're like diving into the water. Yeah. Now, I see is crazy. <laughs> yeah. I don't see points. <laughs> so yeah. how do they point? So it's similar to Olympic diving where they um, score your takeoff, your amount of flips, mm. and then also the entry. So you want to have as, yeah, a little a little splash as possible and also still do a great dive in between. Like um, if you're like, you know, not straightening your legs or pointing your toes, you get deducted for that. Okay. Um, and then they have five judges. So they'll average that out and then times it by your degree of difficulty. So if you just do one somersault, you won't get too many points. But if you do like five somersaults, you get like a lot of points. So there's a lot of um, a lot of concentration for <laughs> yeah. everything you do yeah. while, even while you're flipping. Yeah, even like after the training when you're in comp, like you still got to focus so much. Now, some of the water I've seen you dive into is a bit like wavy or a bit, yeah. how do they, you know, you could have the perfect dive, but like you could just dive into like some sort of a bit of a ripple or wave. Right? Yeah. Yeah. So that's like the beauty of this sport is it's always changing. Um, and we get to do it like outside in the nature and we get to go to some crazy places, but they're also like a little bit intense. And yeah, one of my comps this year, um, it was like a, like a storm brewing. So like the waves are going crazy. Really? Yeah. And it was kind of a matter of luck who was going to hit a wave or not. And I missed a wave, so I landed straight on my ass. <laughs> um, so it's bad to miss a wave? Or yeah, to... well, it can it can vary. So if a wave comes, it'll shorten the height. Oh, yeah, yeah, um, yeah. And so we usually dive on 21 meters. It changes comp to comp. But if it changes while you're diving, um, you could be diving on a 19 meter platform or a 23 meter platform. Mm, and that makes that a wave difference. Can make a big difference. Yeah, so you'll either land like, on so your ass or on your face. So what's the highest you've ever jumped off? Uh, 22.5 meters. And was that just for fun or was that like a that competition? That was a, a competition. Yeah. yeah. And did you know you were going to jump off that? Yeah. Height? This one, they told us beforehand it was higher. When they told you? Um, it's only a meter and a half higher than what we usually do, but it looks a lot higher. Like you can see the difference. Um, and it's, it's crazy. Like your body has a reaction, but then you've got to force your mind to like not think about it. Have you ever belly flopped? Um, no, but I've backflopped before. Oh. Yeah. And I was really lucky. Actually, I didn't, um, have any injuries. I just had bruises, yeah, yeah. um, which, so there's like some crazy injuries in this sport. Um, that's why it's not for everyone. And that's why there's not many people in the world doing it. Um, like there's been people who have ruptured their lungs or like, oh, right. um, yeah, yeah. It's dangerous, yeah. So I've been very lucky, um, just to have bruises. Are you... Now you're a cliff diver. Mm -hmm. Is this, can this like, um, turn into like going to the Olympics? So this sport isn't actually in the Olympics, yeah. but. Oh no, could you like, you know, just be a diver? Olympic you well, know, no. So like, totally different? I, I do have the skills to do what they're doing, but I'm not one of the best in their sport. Mm. Um, it's also like, they've been training, I don't know, 15 years of their life. And so they're some of the best in the world. But then I don't think the Olympic divers would be able to do cliff diving because it's a whole different mindset. Do you feel like um, um, cliff diving is a bit more extreme? Definitely. Yeah, yeah very So extreme. you're more of like the extreme sport aspect? Yes. X like, Games? X Games, well, if they put it yeah. in, yeah, that would be awesome. Be yeah, I like, I wouldn't consider myself an adrenaline junkie, <laughs> um, which like when you look at the sport from an outside perspective, it definitely looks like that. Um, hey, I, I, when I'm looking at the videos, I'm like, what yeah, the hell? Yeah, which I guess it is to some extent, but like we do it like meticulously, like training and planning and then going to the cliffs and then jumping off, <laughs> you know? So um, when do you have a big comp coming up? Uh, so I finished for the year. So, okay, so yeah, we had, yeah, yep. we had yeah um, we had seven comps this year. Is it a um, seasonal type of thing? Like yeah. Like just summertime or yeah, just Yeah, so the European summer. Yeah. Yeah, so we started in June and then um, my last comp was a few weeks ago in um, yeah, September. So you don't have anything in Australia? Like... Well, the last one was in Sydney, oh, which yep. was pretty crazy. Like yeah. they've never done a Red Bull cliff diving comp in Sydney before. Was that the one I saw um, near the Harbour Bridge? Yeah, yeah, in the Bridge? Opera House Dude, in the background. Unreal. Yeah, so there was a big crowd. I think there was yeah, 10,000 people watching. That was um, a comp, yeah. was it? Yeah. yeah so what was that um, comp called? Was it uh, like this a... was just the Red Bull cliff Red, diving. Red, cool. Yeah. So are you sponsored by Red Bull? Not sponsored. Sponsored by Red Bull, yeah. they sponsor the competition. competition. Yeah, yeah. Cool, cool. yeah. So there's only a few athletes sponsored by them. Do you have uh, any sponsors 
Yeah, so I'm sponsored by Budgie Smugglers, oh, awesome. which is a pretty cool sponsor. I think sponsor. I saw that, but like the girls Budgie Smugglers? Yeah, yeah, so they're called Smugglets. Smugglets. But Shout it's out still, to Smugglets. Yeah, they're an amazing team to work with. Really? Yeah, I'm actually going to Sydney tomorrow to um, do a little shooting with them. Yeah. It should be fun. Wow, that's yeah. awesome. Um, yeah. Do you, do you remember, I don't know if, if uh, Smugglets or Budgie Smuggler was like your first sponsor, but did you... When was the first time you were like, holy man, I'm getting like paid for this or I'm getting a sponsorship. Like how, when was that? Do you yeah. remember like... So they were my second sponsors. I've got a coffee sponsor as well called oh, Before classic. You Speak. Yeah. Which is pretty cool. Oh, um, I would love a coffee sponsor. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> it's so handy. Like I drink too much coffee. Definitely. Yeah. <laughs> but it's good. Um, yeah. I think actually Budgie um, were kind of like eye opening for me when they reached out because they reached out at the start, just wanting to send me some kit. Mm. Um, and I... I said no, actually, really? at the start, because, um, like, I had no idea what I was doing when I first got into diving, and, like, I didn't know about working with brands, and um, I was just kind of, yeah, doing my own thing. Um, Were you a bit worried that, like, you would have to do something you didn't want to do? Uh, yeah. yeah, and I was, yeah, I didn't I didn't want to sign any contracts or anything um, and get caught up with um, brands when I didn't know about them, or even, like, didn't know where I was going with this sport, Um and then I did, yeah, diving for a few years, did a few comps, and then they reached out again and say like, hey, we love you and, like, we want to support you. Yeah, um, and so they've kind of been there. And same with my coffee sponsor. <laughs> That's just uh, someone coming up to the apartment. <laughs> yeah. Don't worry about it. <laughs> um, yeah, they've been there since the start, like, supporting me, and they believe in my journey, which is really awesome. Yeah, sick. Yeah. So um, with – is that what you're wearing, like, all time now, like yeah. when you're jumping. Yeah. yeah, so it's really good with Budgie. They're not um, restricting me with other brands. Like I can wear others um, swimsuits if I want to, but I choose to wear like yeah. Budgies and Smugglets because like I like their brand and I like what they represent. Like they're just so chill. Yeah, that's cool. Um, yeah, so I'm always. So how long are you stuff. gonna go down to Sydney for? Um, just a few days. Yeah, yeah we're doing. I'm teaching someone how to dive. Really. We're making some content, and then they have a contest called the Most Ordinary Rig. So they're finding the most ordinary dude. Yeah, I know. yeah, yeah. That's yeah. Like sponsored by oh, like Hello Sport. Um, they're like the Hello Sports another podcast. Okay. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. they're taking they're, over. Yeah, I think they're hosting it or something. Yeah. Like that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. that's it. So, yeah, I know about that. They're, yeah. So I'm gonna be a part of that, just watching. Yeah. Are watching, you judging? Um, I'm not sure. I hope yeah, so. That'd be cool. It'd be crazy. Yeah. Yeah, that's sick. Yeah. So, so what's next for you now for the rest of the year until when's the next like. So are you going over to Europe next year now? Is it planned yet or nothing? Yeah, so I'm going to be in Australia for the next maybe six months just training. I have new dives I want to work on. Um, so, yeah, so going back, I came fourth this year um, and my goal is to get top three overall, but I haven't got a first place yet. So I got my first second place this year and then That's next awesome. year. Yeah. How many people are you competing with? So each comp, there's 12, yep. um, but four of them are wild cards so there's different yeah, yeah there's different wild cards and then there's eight permanent divers so um within like all of them i'm top four which is cool but That's it's awesome. not like my main goal like i want to be yeah, yeah. i would like to be top two actually yeah. um because i know right now i'm not able to get top one overall um but that's like long-term goals well we're supporting so, you for the nation oh thank you yeah. yeah yeah that's so, so cool like, yeah like top four to me amazing yeah but it's great to like want more you know yeah. like to like i want three i want second i want first you know yeah. like it's good to have those like ambitions and mm, yeah you, definitely yeah. grateful for this year but it's like more motivation for me to work hard in the off season how old are you i'm 23 23 so yeah. um is there like a, a peak of age where like people say like or when you get to about 26, that's when you're going to be like... Mm, I think they're still kind of figuring it out in this sport new. because, yeah, because it's quite new and not many people in it. A lot of the people diving are actually over 30. Really? Yeah. So like some of the best divers, like the Australian champion, she's 31. Um, and the Australian, uh, the champion for the men, he's 38. Really? Yeah. Have they been cliff diving like They've been majority doing it, of their lives? Yeah. Or are they like normal divers? Yeah, most of their life. Dive? I think... Everyone starts off in normal diving, yeah. um, but because they have so much experience and because it's like a crazy sport, not everyone can get into it. They have, yeah, like the consistency to be staying on top um, and he's been doing it for years and years. So I've got time, which is good. Yeah, no, that's awesome. <laughs> yeah, but it's it's cool to see um, there's a lot more younger generation coming into the sport. So I'm one of the younger ones, yeah. which is um, cool to see like... How not, much... Yeah. Um, back to 
before you were saying that you're going to practice now for basically the next six months. Mm. How much practicing goes into now again, like I'm coming from someone that look, I'm just seeing you jump into water, right? Yeah. I'm an idiot. So I don't know, <laughs> you know, I don't know how things work and yeah. I just see you doing a couple flips, dump it. And obviously you've explained how much, how hard it is, mm. but how much training goes into it? Yeah. So I'll be training every day um, or six days a week for the next, I don't know, six, seven months until my next comp. And I'll do about 25 hours a week, um, which isn't as much as some of the Olympian um, divers. It's only because I get to, or I can only train on the 10 meter or lower. Is that so, like at a local pool? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So in Australia, there's not actually a facility to high dive. So this is another crazy thing about this sport. So we'll train half our dives. So the top half and then the bottom half. And then once I get to a competition, then I put the dives together and actually uh, either learn it for the first time or like practice it. So there's no it. you can go 20 meters. Not in Australia. I know, yeah. I know a quarry. Oh yeah? There's a quarry <laughs> like um, where I used to grow up down the south side of Brisbane. Yeah, like, really? Uh, Karawatha. Okay. Yeah, I used to jump off there when I was like. You're gonna have to take me. I don't know if it's, you know, back then when I was like 14, I reckon like it was like 10 meters. Yeah, yeah. yeah. In my head, I was like, this is 50 meters. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's like crazy high. (laughs) Oh no, that's cool. Yeah, Um, I know there's a few like spots around um, that are like 10, 15 meters. I've done a bridge. Um, it's not actually allowed, but like in Tweed Heads, um, really? cause it's on a highway. Um, but it's like, it's very safe. Well, for me, mm. um, and yeah, it's 15, 16 meters. And I've done a few practice jumps there. Um, it's just scary cause there's sharks in the water, really? like bull sharks. Okay. Yeah. How many, um, um, how many flips have you done? Like what's your like most flip, not like trying to be a perfect jumper, but yeah, just yeah. like having fun. I've done, um, just three with one twist. Yeah. Okay. Actually. Yeah, three with one twist. But next year I'm learning like a quad half, so two, uh, oh, four somersaults, and then with a half twist. Really? Yeah. That so sounds. That's, that's one of the highest DDs for the girls, which is pretty cool. That's crazy. Yeah. What about guys? Are they a bit more? Um, they do. Well, the the most they do is five flips. Really? Yeah. Has yeah. a girl ever done? Um, not yet. No, I reckon yeah. you could do it. Oh, maybe. I reckon yeah. If I take you to that quad, we'll we'll <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll <laughs> Let's better, do it. Better than the dudes. I reckon. Hey, you're actually gonna have to take yeah. it. Yeah, that'd be cool. I don't, I don't even know if there's water in there anymore. <laughs> oh no. By the way, that quad was so bad. Like, oh really? There was like cars in there. Oh. And, like people would say, don't open your eyes on the water. So I don't know if you really want to go there. But like it was high when I was 14. I yeah. Thought, I thought I was killing it. Well, but. we go to some sketchy places. There's one place in Bosnia that yeah. we have to dive from and it's a beautiful location, but the water, it's full of sewerage and oh. yeah, you'll see toilet paper oh, floating. Really? And like, so it's like just dive just, in, get out. Yeah, dive in, close your eyes, close your mouth really? and then you're out, go have oh, a shower. Wow. <laughs> Speaking of like uh, the countries, mm. like um, I see here when I had a quick look at like where you've dived, I've seen like... Um, well, obviously, you told me France. I've seen Ireland. Yeah. Um, I think I saw like Sydney uh, at the Harbour Bridge. Where else have you gone? Like for diving? Like, yeah. Where oh, has it taken you? There's been so many places. So we went to Boston, um, Switzerland, Oslo and Norway. Um, we went to the Philippines, actually. Yeah, yeah. So that was like one of my favorite competitions. Um, you where saw, else? saw all your cousins? Oh, everyone, uh, everyone, all turning, the family. Once you, everyone's your cousin there, apparently. Yeah, yeah. literally, <laughs> like, oh, the Philippines claimed me, which I loved it. Like, yeah, cool. it was such, like, great support over there. What um, was, so when you say, like, Boston, mm. I don't know too much about Boston, but I don't really think a cliff. Are you no. jumping off a board into water? So we Is dove it? off the Opera House. Oh, okay. Yeah, so they built they a got platform. a Boston Opera House. Yeah, okay. or maybe it was an art gallery. Art gallery. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Cool. so they built a platform. Um, off there into just a like a bay so So, when they tell you hey um, we want you to come over to boston or we want you to come over to this country Mm. are they explaining to you what exactly you're going to do or they do they just say come over we're going to jump you know this is the day yeah so most of our competitions so i'll be traveling just for competitions um, and we do a few projects um, but mostly they're the same format. So we'll go over, you get one day to like recover, to get over jet lag, and then you start training the next day and then straight into comp the day after. Really? So it's usually the same setup, but um, you don't get too much leeway. What have you, I know you said like most things are like, it's like summertime. Mm. 
have you ever done winter? Like, is it like going into like cold or maybe icy water? Like, um, it's technically summer when we're competing, but when we were in Ireland, for yeah. example, it was so freaking really? cold. Like the water, I think it was eleven degrees, and people do was, ice baths in really? eleven degree water. So, and was it windy? Just, windy, yeah. wavy, and it was actually raining the whole time we were there as well. So they don't cancel the competition. Oh, really? Yeah, because like I mean this is the part of the sport it's like extreme yeah. um the and more extreme the better right yeah and like we're we're the top athletes so we can't just pull out um you got to push through it and yeah it was so cold i think it was also 12 degrees outside as well when, um when you go to like these countries like ireland or even going to boston or wherever it is like i know the sport is relatively young mm. i guess but do you have much of a fan base like do you have people that are like I wouldn't say know who you are, but they know the sport maybe. Like Yeah, I mean, there's some like iconic locations, for example, Bos- uh, Bosnia, mm. um, and people watch it every year. So like, it's crazy because we dive and then we have to walk through the streets to get back up um, and everyone's there just like cheering us on, giving us high so fives, cool. getting photos with us. And yeah. like some of them know me personally because I've been a few years, yeah. but then some of them are just like so excited to see like yeah. you just dove off that bridge. Yeah. Like it's pretty cool. It's unreal. Like yeah. whenever I looked at your like your reels that you put up and I'm just like, how like <laughs> how does she do this? Like, yeah. It's like kind of like scary and exciting mm. all at the same time. And it's so cool that like the sport is getting more eyes on it and like like I didn't know about this I mean I knew there was this type of thing yeah but because like I kind of knew you through your partner Mm. it's like made me look at it a bit more yeah I feel like for a sport to grow the more eyes on it and it's such an exciting thing to like watch yeah I've watched like all your reels oh really (laughs) thank you last night and this morning I was just (laughs) watching all your reels just like I want to get a bit more information about you and stuff but I was literally watching it like I'll be watching tiktok like yeah. just scrolling going wow look at this spot yeah wow like, yeah, that's like, so nice to hear I wrote down, yeah i wrote down like all the places you went to and yeah. like, all this stuff and i was like holy like this place mm. who would think ireland was a place to go diving i know Anything, like italy as well you went to italy yeah italy what's your favorite place Philippines yeah. definitely for sure so we went to an island called El Nido yeah. and so many people go there just to like like holiday and chill out but there's actually these like limestone cliffs and this was one of my favorite because it was natural cliffs we competed off so sometimes we do platforms but then we were like literally feet on rock and they were sharp too and like diving into um, like this aqua water it was incredible and it was so warm um, is that a known place for to dive off no so it's a known place for people to go like on yeah. holidays and chill um which is like i think even more special because no one has jumped there before so True. yeah so when you get to a place like that where like not everyone go because you know like some cliffs people can just jump off in, yep. in general right they just have fun jumping off. yeah like, how, how do you know that like the bottom of that wall the water is not like rocky or mm. like so we, it's shallow. Yeah, we have a safety team always. Um, really? they you just scout. Them off. <laughs> <laughs> nah, they'll they'll scout around checking the water and then they also check the rocks to make sure they're not like falling off. So like it is a controlled extreme yeah, cool. sport. Like even though it's How long still does crazy. That take? Let's say you get there one day. Yeah, they'll, they'll take a few hours, oh, um, really? yeah, the day before. Cool, and they say, and, all right, tomorrow we're on. Yeah, so it's good that I don't have to do that. Yeah. Like, especially they had to scout in Sydney, um, and there's, like, bull sharks everywhere. There's, like, oh. people don't usually swim everywhere in Sydney because yeah. of the sharks, and, like, I'm glad I didn't have to check. <laughs> have you yeah. done anything in Brisbane or Gold Coast diving? No. Like, a competition or, like... No, they've never... Nothing. Yeah, I mean... Story Bridge? Oh, I was looking actually the other day and I, I'm pretty sure it's 50 or 60 metres. <laughs> I was like, nah, I'm, I think oh, I'll leave Oh, the jump? That. Yeah, yeah, really? yeah, off the bridge. Yeah. yeah. Oh, so, is it that high? Yeah. Like, it doesn't look that high, True. but yeah. Is that... Um, have, have people done that? No, I mean, people have jumped off, but, but not they, in a they good... They didn't come back up? No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. No. So, like, 20, maybe 30? Is is that like... Yeah, I mean, people have dove off 30. I My limit, I think, is going to be... 22 was it well that's my highest but i think the highest i will go is 24 24 yeah, yeah. like even that's so pushing crazy it how yeah i like, think that like two meters is a big difference yeah like, it's it's insane like yeah. even yeah the when you meter. first went overseas um do you do you or every time you do a competition whether it's in australia or overseas or even just something are you less and less nervous or are you still nervous um i think every comp there's like that fear um the more i do it 
like regularly the more I'm more comfortable with it but most of the times I'm still like shitting my yeah. pants <laughs> what did your mom think what does she say now oh she's be she, careful and... yeah yeah come on be safe <laughs> <laughs> yeah no like she can't watch actually um like live like she'll always like be turning her uh... head or like freaking out um but She's also like my biggest fan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's she's pretty like I mean she's lived in Australia um since she was like sixteen or oh, something. Yeah, cool. So she's like oh, she hasn't got an accent. Oh, sometimes uh, like when she's around her like Philo family, oh, like yeah, she'll pick yeah. it up and it I'm like, Mom, what are you saying? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> but like um she's like my biggest supporter. Yeah, I love so. her. Yeah. Yeah, because it feels like my mom like I, even my mom still doesn't really understand like mm. what I do. Yeah. Like, yeah. So like to tell I do YouTube or like yeah. I shoot weddings, she doesn't really like get it. Yeah. And, like, it's kind of hard to explain to her. Like, so that's cool that your mom. Yeah. Like, uh, even though she looks away when you jump and stuff, she still supports you and like. Yeah. She, like, I mean, what at, at the start, she was definitely like, yeah. "What are you doing?" Like, I think they were worried, but they didn't really say it to me that they were scared I wasn't going to make a career out of myself no. doing this because I was just like going overseas and jumping off cliffs. Has like, she been overseas? Um, she yeah, Philippines? she went to the Philippines. Yeah. yeah. And then she came to Abu Dhabi with me as well. Really? for a comp- What was yeah. that like, Abu Dhabi? Um, it was interesting. Like it was a pretty standard comp. Like it wasn't any cliffs. We just did off platforms, but um, it's an interesting country. Yeah. Did you like it? Uh, it wasn't my favorite. Too I think hot? It's, it was very hot that didn't bother me i think mm. it's more just everything's so man-made like the beaches there are man-made and it's just buildings so no and natural. and highways mm. yeah i mean I, i'm sure there's more beautiful parts of the country that i didn't see but yeah. it's very um yeah there's not much to do like you have to stay inside yeah also. when you um go to like a certain like when you go to a country or a new spot um who organizes that uh red bull will organize everything, everything. yeah okay. so let's say they're like hey we're going to boston it's this date mm. are you there for like three days come home or do you like stay longer to like chill yeah some like, comps if i want um i'll stay like a few days before or after just to like see the area yeah. um but usually we're there for like four days um like red bull will organize those four days and then the rest of it's up to us so um last year i did a lot of traveling in between comps um so i went to Croatia after Bosnia just because it's like an hour drive and then I spent a few days there and it was amazing so that's like one of the things I'm really lucky that I get to do um, while traveling and then just go off and like see the countries so it's pretty special. So we'll say Abu Dhabi is not up there but like what's and Philippines is probably up there. Definitely. Where else would you like say if you could uh, let's say someone says tomorrow we're going to go diving Mm. where do you want to go? Ibiza. Ibiza. Yeah. Have you been there or no? I did. Yeah. yeah. So I went last year and Ibiza's like known for the clubs and partying. Um, but so I... you're like jumping and dancing all the way down? <laughs> you're like doing moves all oh, the way down? Oh, I wish. No, <laughs> like we went during COVID. Yep. So everything was closed. Oh, really? And so I wasn't sure about going there because um, like, you know, we all love to party. But then we actually saw like the country and there's so many cliffs you can like really? jump off from one meters all the way to 26 meters. Like so, many, so much options. Yeah. So many options. So that's a great place for anyone to go like even if you don't cliff dive you can just like go and see like the actual country and then like beauty of it um and then italy as well has some nice places to jump off it's just a great yeah. country italy's up there as well for me so let's say red bull um hit you up and say hey we're gonna go to italy mm. who are you bringing do they tell you you need to bring your team or they've got all that sorted out or you just rock up by yourself so they are only asking for like us and then if I want to bring other people I have to like bring my team um oh like the divers yeah so they're just asking for like the individual divers divers. and then so we're not actually like funded by like the Australian team or like we have to fund ourselves so if I want to bring a coach I have to pay for them Um, um if I want to bring like friends or support team like I have to pay for all of that but everything else is covered by Red Bull Bull. yeah Yeah, so so most of the times I was doing it by myself how much Red Bull do you, do you get? Do you oh, get? we can get it for free yeah. all the time. You just yeah. Bring up Red Bull, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Really? <laughs> I mean, if I if I want, but I don't. You're drink, not a Red Bull no, operator. No, I'm I'm a coffee girl. Uh, okay. Yeah. Well, you are sponsored by that. What's yeah. the coffee sponsor? Before by? you speak. Before you speak. Yeah. Shout out to before you speak. Yeah, I'll have to give you some. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I love, like, <laughs> we have a uh, a coffee maker here. Oh, nice. But I still go down to the coffee shop. Yeah, and, yeah. Like, <laughs> and get coffees because I can't be bothered making them. Yeah. Um, another thing, um, I wanted to ask you is like when did you feel like 
I can't remember if like I asked this and we brushed over it, but when did you feel like, wow, I can, this is a job, like this is something, because you know, you could go to like France, right, for that one time and mm. be there for three months and then come home and be like, yeah, cool, that was sweet. Mm. Or, you know, when did you be like, when, when did you think, wow, this is a job? I think, so when I was in France, I was learning and I was there for three months and it took me one month to actually get all my dives um, ready for a competition. And then people were asking me like to come compete. And I think I realized like I just did that so fast and I'm already ready for a competition. I was like, maybe this is an actual thing. And then when I went to the competition, like I didn't come last for the first one. And yeah. I was like, wow, like I'm actually not that bad. So then I kept trying and um, I wasn't, yeah, like I wasn't coming last most of the times. And I was like, maybe I could actually try because I wasn't putting all my effort in. I was more just doing it for fun. Um, yeah, especially when you're like 18, you're like, yeah, this is sick. This yeah. is sick to do this. Yeah. It was more just like the entertainment and the travel part that was like drawing me in. But then I realized I could actually put in work in the off season and work hard and be actually making a living out of this. Yeah. Um, and then I think it was... Yeah, up until 2019, I was like, I could make this full time. Yeah. So like before that, when I wasn't working in the shows, I was working in retail. And at the start of 2019, I was like, this is the last time I'm ever working in retail and I'm never going back. So yeah. like I needed that in the time of my life. But um, now I'm I'm doing this full time and it's pretty, pretty cool. So when you say you're working retail and you're like, you know, what, fuck this, I want to like, who do you talk to to say, hey, I want to really focus on, like, is it a coach or is it, like... Um, I just made that decision myself. Yeah. Like, I had my family and actually my boyfriend's been helping me a lot, just, like, kind of looking at um, all my, like, my income coming in and, like, working out how we can um, get my sponsors to support me where I don't have to work and I can focus on my mm, training. Yeah. So he's been a great help. Um, and... Yeah, I think it's just up to me to like work hard to be able to get those competitions and get the results, which will like fund my my lifestyle. Yeah, no, it's good that like um like I've with your sponsor with Budgie Smuggler, like mm. I knew Budgie Smuggler, but I didn't know there was Smuglets. Yeah, but like, I didn't know about that, and like I think it's a good way, it's a good thing for sponsors to be helping out, like especially a professional athlete who's a woman, mm. you know, like to to show off, um, uh, what is it um. The brand, like, uh, uh, budgies, like smuggler, budgies, uh, um, smugglets. Smugglets, yeah, yeah, yeah. Am I right? Sorry, I had a brain freeze, <laughs> like, um, Me too. I was like, like what is it? Yeah. What is it? I didn't, know, like, I didn't know there was such thing as like the girl version of it. You know, yeah. I mean, it's such a cool thing um, that you're like helping them as they help you, you know, to mm. scratch my back. Yeah. You know, like, yeah, sponsors are really good to have yeah. uh, and I think on your side. I've learned as well is like, it's not just about the sponsorship or the contract it's about the relationship with the brand. Mm. And I've formed like a really good relationship with Budgie. Um, like, you know, yeah, they're helping me and I'm also like sharing their brand around same with my coffee sponsor. Like we're good friends now. Yeah. Um, it's like all about connection. Hey. And that's As... also with like my diving, I wouldn't have been here without like my friends helping me and supporting me. And I want to do the same with them. Have you so... ever like, um, jumped into water holding the coffee? I haven't, but <laughs> that's maybe that's my next video. Them, like, hey guys, 10 grand and I'll yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, so um, now you're going to have the six months basically to train and, and um, get better at your craft. Mm. Um, when are you going? When's the next comp? Do you know? Um, my next Red Bull comp is in June next year. So June. I've still got Where heaps that of time. That's going to be in Boston again. Boston again. Okay. Yeah. But I think we've been hearing talks, talks of a comp in April in Egypt. Whoa. Yeah. And I've never been there before. What That's... are you going to be jumping into? I don't know. Maybe hey, but they, they want to make it. I think they're going to build something, mm. but they want to make it next to the pyramids. Yeah, unreal. That's going to be a crazy location. All oh, right. Yeah. If you ever need a photographer oh, to man, take Oh, I would love to take you. you. Like <laughs> Next year, I really want to focus on actually getting content yeah, um, yeah, because, yeah. I mean, the last years, I'll take a GoPro but or my phone mm. and that's about it. But, but like, you know what? Like You can make really cool like YouTube videos out of it. And like the YouTube videos don't need to like go for like 20 minutes or 10 minutes. Like mm. They could be like four or five minute videos where like you're just like, with your GoPro saying, hey guys, like, we're in Egypt, I'm about to jump off this, you know, 22 <laughs> metre platform yeah. into, like, this four metre pool, whatever you want to call it, and, like, just get someone to film it, mm. and that's it, like, it could be a three, three, three minute video, like, things like that, like, it's, like, kind of like a, a video version of, like, a reel, yeah. instead of, like, 
filming in an iPhone and you film it landscape. Yeah, true. Yeah, it's like it's really easy to like do like and yeah, as long mm. as people are seeing you like do these crazy things, people are gonna tune in. Yeah, like, when I, mean, I saw I'm... your page, I froth. I was yeah. like, wow, this is sick. Yeah, I've been saying for years I wanted to get into YouTube, and I think my biggest thing that's stopping me is just like I'm scared what people think, which like that's the last thing I should be worrying about is no. like, I should be doing this for myself. And like, I mean, I actually make videos all the time, but I don't share it. Like me talking to the camera. And that's like one of the things that I'm trying to like step into and like step out of my comfort zone. I think a big, a big, um, I guess if you want to talk about pros and cons with that is like that, that mindset is a lot of people don't want to do it because they're worried about what their friends think. Yeah. But you're really making, I guess the word content, like, you're making it for everyone else. You're not making it for you. Mm. You're not making it for your friends. You're making it so like the world gets to see your your stuff. Like for example, like let's say like if you're like Steven Spielberg, right? Mm. And he goes, I'm gonna make this really cool movie, but I'm only gonna make it for my twenty friends. Yeah, right. And so why would he like he's not making it for his mates. Yeah. Like he's making it because he wants to show the world like what he can do. That's so and, true. Like, I think with most people, like when I first started doing YouTube, I was like the worst person to speak in front of the camera. I'd be like saying like, fuck this. And yeah. How, why am I not, how can I not do this? What am I saying? What, blah, blah, blah. And I was, cause I was so worried about what people thought about me. Mm. Like what about my friends who I went to high school with who I don't talk about, talk to anymore. What are they going to think? Yeah. You know, things, and I'm like, why do I, why do I bother with them? Like, mm. why, you know, I should be worried about like people that actually want to be interested in me. Yeah. You know, like, and it might take a while for you to have like, You've got a following now on Instagram. Like, mm. that didn't just happen overnight, right? That no. happened with you yeah. doing more and more dives and, you know, yeah. doing really cool stuff. Like, some people won't who follow you don't even know you. They probably don't even know, like, yeah. where you, like, where you live. They yeah. don't know, like, what country you're from. They yeah, just follow true. you. You know, like, because they're yeah. like, this is cool. And I think, yeah, do YouTube. You know, mm. like, I told my girlfriend to, like, to do YouTube and she's, like, absolutely amazing at it. Yeah, like, that's awesome. And I think at the start she was a bit worried about, like, what her friends would say mm. you know and like it's not really about that and she's yeah. really amazing at it she's better at youtube than i am you know like <laughs> that's awesome <laughs> yeah, yeah you know what i mean like no, you've inspired me it. man like i haven't thought of it like that because this is like another thing so i coach on the side and like one of my biggest things is i want to inspire the younger generation and like yeah. coaching is, diving yeah coaching yep. diving cool. yeah and yeah you've inspired me like uh-huh. i want to inspire them through like youtube as well so yeah exactly like because the people that you're inspiring are people that want to be inspired. Mm. All right? the peop- if you made videos or if you'd made, I guess, content for, like, your friends, like, they might be, like, inspired by other things. Yeah. So why would they even want to watch your content? Yeah. You know, they can support you. That's mm. totally fine. But if you are a diver, like, like and your friend is a, a accountant, like, why would he even want to watch your stuff? Yeah, you know what true. I mean? Like, it's, it's like not, not for them. Yeah, it's not for yeah. them. You know what I mean? Like... If they don't like it, it's not their fault. It's mm. just they're not interested, you know. If you st- make all your content that you're going to be making for YouTube, um, your friends, like the top four um, divers that are, yeah. I guess, above you, uh, you know, with the point system, you know, mm. how they won, right? Like, they are more likely to want to watch what you're doing. And then their followers who follow them will want to watch what you're doing. True, It's yeah. not about, like, the person who's, like... Joe Blow, who works down the road, who, you know, works at Woolies, yeah. he's not going to want to watch. Yeah. He might be interested in someone who does guitar, mm. right? Like, you know what I mean? Like, Yeah, that's it, so true. Yeah, so, like, it, when I first started, I was worried about, like, my mates. Yeah. But most of my friends don't know anything about cameras. Yeah. They don't watch YouTube at all, maybe. Mm. And, like, it's now... I, perspective, yeah, hey? yeah. Now I've got, like, a circle of friends where, like, I don't really make stuff for them, but I like to bounce ideas off them. Yeah. And you'd probably be the same thing when you're with your diving mates. You'd be like, hey, what do you think about this triple backflip, blah, blah, yeah. blah, you know, and they'll be like, you can do it. You yeah. Know? Oh, yeah. Don't do it. It's a bit dangerous in this water. Yeah. You, you know? need your friends, hey, like, yeah. Yeah. you wouldn't be where and you are And you need to be them. in that circle. You need Definitely. to be in that world. Because yeah. you can't ask your mate who's an accountant, yeah. what do you reckon if I did a triple backflip <laughs> off this one in Bosnia? Well, yeah. And he'd be like, well, I don't know. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, don't care. Yeah, don't worry about them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, that's like, so true. everyone has the potential to like do really cool things. Mm. There's just, don't worry about like anyone else. Just, just do you. Yeah. You know? I love it. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Cause <laughs> so you know, awesome. like, um, there's like, for example, with my partner, like she does like makeup reviews and yeah. she does all this stuff. Right. And at the beginning, I think she said to me something like, oh, I don't know if I want to do it because I see a lot of other people doing it. Mm. And I said to her, I was like, true, but there's more people not doing it yeah. than people 
doing it. So true. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. So just because there is a lot of girls out there making makeup videos. Oh yeah, cool. There's a lot. All right. But there's more people not doing it. Mm. You've got like 380 million people just in America. Yeah. That's crazy. Right? So just in America. Like, <laughs> yeah. So yeah, if you start doing YouTube about your diving and things like that and just your journey, mm. like you could even do video vlogs. Like, Hey, I'm flying to Egypt. Yeah. I'm flying to this country check out what I'm going to do. Like just simple things like that. Like, mm. you know, it's, it's actually, once you do one, two, three videos, then you'll go, I don't like this. I like this. I like this. I don't like doing that. And then you'll just have, you know, like, cause uh, do you watch YouTube much? Like, um, a little bit. A yeah. Little bit? Like, yeah. Like uh, Australian, I don't think Australians really watch like a lot. It's not as big here. Yeah. I think uh, Australians, when they watch YouTube, it'll be like, how do I make a chicken curry? Yeah. Right? <laughs> Stuff like that. Like, yeah. how do I... It, yeah, like, but the rest of the world, like, when I look at my, like, um, stats for, like, YouTube, mm. like, I'd say, like, 30% is America that watch my yeah, YouTube, wow. right? Like, and, like, 3% is Australia. Yeah. But it's a big difference in population and stuff like that. But, like, yeah. Mm. Is that one like, of the reasons why you went over to the US yeah, so yeah, many yeah. times? Yeah, so we went, like, um, we went about three months ago for about three weeks. Yeah. Um, I was a bit over it. After mm-hmm. what, just because we were on the road, like we had 26 days there and like 14 ABVs. Yeah, wow. <laughs> yeah, and we drove everywhere, like three hour drives here, seven so hours. Tired. You went to Utah, hey? Yeah, I went to Utah yeah. and stuff like that. We, we, went, we drove from Utah to Oregon, 14 oh, wow. hour drive. Oh my God, I could not. <laughs> it, and I had to drive the whole way because I get car sick. Yeah. Like I get the Same. worst car sick. <laughs> like, you yeah. could be in park and I'll get sick. Oh no. Like, that's how like you look at your phone and you're just like uh, throwing it I can't even look at like... <laughs> You know, like you see, like a, you'll say, like Brisbane and 10k. Yeah, yeah. I can't even look at that. Oh, no. Like, it's like, I have to, like, close my eyes and, wow. like, yeah, that's how bad I get the worst motion sickness I inherited yeah. from my Filipino mother. So, like, maybe that's, it must be in our genes. Yeah, it must like, be, yeah. Like, I don't know what it is. Yeah. But, yeah, so we drove three hours here, seven hours there, 14 hours here. Like, we were driving a lot. And I was taking amazing photos and I was very grateful for being over there. But mm. we didn't do, like, I didn't go out for dinner properly yeah i didn't explore la i didn't and even though i've been there many times like i didn't have a uh, normal breakfast we'd get yeah. up at like four in the morning to drive three hours to get to this location <laughs> oh my god you know like it was but it was fun and i so was it a work trip or yeah yeah we're yeah. making youtube videos i was with another yeah. friend uh mitch who does youtube full-time mm-hmm. so like we we're making videos together and, I, and blah 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 like i was helping him film and he yeah. was helping me film and things like that so yeah it was a work trip like but we had our girlfriends with us too and like it's a bit hard to like say, Hey, we're going to go take photos for like 10 hours. They have to come. Yeah. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, we are going to Japan um, yeah. for like uh, seven weeks. Another work trip. Yeah. We work a bit, a bit more, bit more play because um, there's no four hour drives. There's no three hour drives. There's mm. none of that stuff. It's more like, Hey, we're in Tokyo. Yeah. If you girls want to go do something, we'll go take photos. Or if you want me to help you film a YouTube video, I'll help you, but then we can chill the rest of the day. Yeah. Or like I can do something in the morning while the girls do something in the morning. We yeah. don't have to be together. Yeah. In America, we only have the one car. Okay. So if we woke up at four in the morning to it's drive. rely on them. Yeah, and, they have yeah. to come. They're not going to sit around. And yeah. Because like, like the places we were at too, were like in the middle of nowhere. Okay. <laughs> so it's not like we were in LA and drove two hours. We were like yeah. two hours out of LA already. Wow. You know, so like, mm. yeah, it was a bit hard and I felt a bit... Uh, tired and just over it i was just like not over the trip just over the driving and i was yeah. like i want to get to that's a long time yeah. like in the car and some yeah. places will sleep on couches you know like <laughs> wow yeah it that's was, the thing was like um when you're going traveling for work is like so many people think wow you get to travel so much but sometimes you don't actually get to like see and like enjoy the places yeah. so like you definitely need to make that's why, time yeah, that's why i asked to... you before i was like did you do you rock up and leave or did yeah you for like or? yeah so i I haven't been focusing this year on like holidaying because Mm. like I've been really like focusing on my sport and yeah, like I got to go to some amazing places, but I don't get to see everything, which like I'm really trying to separate my holidays now. Um, Next year I want to take my boyfriend over and like actually have a holiday in Europe and like to enjoy it without worrying about competitions. Like same as you, like you want to try and like play more in Japan is like, you could do it like a competition, but actually stay for two weeks. Yeah. Like stay afterwards. It's like a lot better. Um, But it's i need to find that balance you know what was um like when you go to like boston 
is there a certain country or a certain city that like likes diving more? Do you, like you know? Is there like a place where it's like this place froths diving, mm. but then you go to another place and people there's like not many people like know about it or. Um. Well, Italy is one of our biggest crowds we get. Like, I think we've had a comp where there was like seventy thousand people watching. Yeah. Are they there just for diving? Yeah. Or is there other things going on on that day? I mean, like... so this place we go in Italy, it's called Polignano Amare, and they have like one of the f- most famous beaches. It's like you know the rock beaches, like the classic European, yeah, yeah. and it's like houses around like aqua water, Unreal. and there's. I'm sure people there just for holidaying, but then this place gets packed out because of the diving. Like, so cool. Because it happens once a year every time in Italy. So everyone always, like, saves the day and, like, goes there. Um, most of the places, like, we've had big crowds, though. Like, Sydney wasn't as big, I think, because the Australian population don't know about cliff diving, yeah. which is fair enough, but I think... Um, like everyone got open to it um, after that last comp. So yeah, 10,000 was kind of like small for our yeah. comps, um, but it's still a lot of people. Like it's pretty crazy. That's unreal. Yeah. yeah. So Boston's first stop. Do you yeah. have like a run sheet for the year or is it more, do they tell you like a month in advance or like? Yeah, you know, like... I actually, that was a secret. I forgot, <laughs> but oh. I mean, it's all right. Um, uh, yeah. So we have Boston. Yeah. <laughs> Philadelphia. <laughs> yeah. Somewhere in America. Yeah, somewhere in America. No. So, um, Don't worry, nobody, yeah. nobody to this podcast. <laughs> they're going to leak it. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's all good. Um, yeah, we find out, um, I, I know all the stops for next year, but they'll announce it probably the start of next year. Yeah, cool. And I think next year we'll have eight stops or maybe nine. Um, and then, yeah, people will usually book in their flights to come watch. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. That's it. You got to let me know. So like we can come and like, take photos yeah like we'll um i'll shoot a youtube video for you i'll film it for you and stuff yeah like that. Like, yeah I'll, I'll say another spoiler um next year the last one's in auckland oh so sweet. that's gonna be super have close have you been there before to dive um not to dive no. yeah so i went there because my boyfriend's from yeah. auckland or waiheke island um so i went to visit the family but i actually haven't seen the country either so that's one of my goals next year's after the comp because it's the finals i'll have heaps of time so i want to tour around new zealand and maybe take a van and drive like yeah. that's yeah one that's of my sick. top lists yeah um all right so basically we're coming to an end here of um i basically found out a lot about you yeah and like um, no, i'm happy awesome. about everything and I'm, i appreciate you but before you leave mm. three people dead or alive who you want to sit down with and just shoot the shit talk with them ask them questions oh wow hang out like anyone that inspires you or yeah yeah anyone oh man this is hard um three people this, oh my god yeah you, <laughs> you should have told me this earlier <laughs> I think it'd be cool to sit down with Mother Teresa. Okay, cool, cool. Um, just how crazy one person has had an impact on so many people um, still to this day. Yep. Um, Tom Daly. Okay. He's like one of oh, the top diver, um, like in Olympic diving scenes. Like, So diving is such a small sport and there's no like famous people mm. in diving, um, but he's just made a huge impact on the sport, which would be cool to sit down and have dinner with him have you ever um, met him no i no, haven't okay, yeah cool. which like i'm sure i will sometime yeah, soon no, you will. um manifest yeah yeah, yeah <laughs> definitely um third person all right my mind's blank <laughs> <laughs> um well i think who's your top three uh um i said it in the other podcast it'd be um Bill Burr, he's a comedian. Okay. He's actually from Boston. He's a Boston comedian. Yeah, right. Um, I really love his stuff. Um, Kobe Bryant. Mm-hmm. Just not necessarily... And the same thing with the third person, because the third person is pretty controversial. But, like, not necessarily, like, I want to talk to Kobe Bryant about, like, work ethic. I don't want to... I'm not really worried about that stuff. Just with, like, some famous people, I feel like... So, the third person is Kanye. Mm-hmm. Right. So like you know, everyone's like, oh, he's a bit wacko, he's so yeah. controversial, blah blah blah. But like someone like Kanye or Kobe Bryant, like I feel like I just want to hear their stories of like who they've hung out with, who mm. who do they he would pa- have stories party to with, tell. you know, like who yeah, like Kanye has made music with most of like most some of the most influential and famous people in the world, right? He's made music for people you wouldn't even know he made music for, right? Yeah. So like, um just to like be like how did you 
get into that world like i would love to have them on a podcast and just chat yeah, to them about like that'd be interesting yeah, not necessarily like oh look how hard did you work at this and like mm. i know how hard they worked i want to yeah. know like the little stories where like you know what's it like to be in a studio with jay-z or what's mm. it like to be in a studio or kobe bryant what was it like to play basketball with shaquille o'neal yeah you know, what was it like to play in the olympics yeah like that t- i want to know the stories you know like yeah that type of stuff even though like you know Kanye's controversial and like yeah, I feel like he's dude. a bit of a funny guy. I reckon yeah. he'd be funny in real life to yeah. like actually chat with. Yeah, that's interesting. Like that. You still gotta give me your last yeah. person. Serena Williams. Serena Williams. Yeah. yeah so yeah. I think her story is pretty crazy. Like following her sister's footsteps or like in the shadows yeah, and like yeah, being yeah. compared. Um, but she still makes like this whole crazy career out of herself and yeah, yeah like her story i mean have you seen that movie king richards no i haven't it's on, oh. it just came out on netflix i'm pretty yeah, sure yeah, yeah. So, so should good. i watch it yeah right. like i mean will smith he's not my favorite actor um but no. he's like the main one but like the no story slapping. yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> the story of the two girls and like i mean most of it's about venus but serena is like the underdog yeah, yeah. and like you know everyone loves the underdog yeah, but course. like it's it's cool her story i would love to meet her cool cool so yeah. we've got mother Teresa. yeah tom uh, tom daly tom daly yeah and serena williams yeah all right cool. you want to sit down with them yeah all right well can you these guys are here right now like, <laughs> 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 um not mother Teresa. yeah yeah <laughs> um, rest in peace <laughs> cool, cool well thank you so much for being here no worries, i really thank appreciate you. it appreciate you um, I'm going to put your details in the YouTube description so people can find you and see your page and yes, see all your work. And eventually when you have a YouTube, we'll put that up too. Like we'll it shout will it happen. Out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, but thank you so much. Um, if anyone, uh, wants to know more about Xanthia, um, just follow her on Facebook or Instagram and like, yeah, uh, I think like Instagram or TikTok. That's where uh, I'm TikTok? most of my, yeah. Okay, cool. Give me a TikTok link yep. and all that stuff. Right, cool. Thank you so much. No worries. All Thanks, right, guys. Carlo. Have a good day. See you later. Sweet. <laughs>